Crypto Sunday, guys, and uh, what goes up must come down. So yeah, twenty four thousand down on the week. Not uh, not particularly good. I think I may have got a bit of FOMO buying my couple of coins last week, but they were sort of well below my averages on those two. So not the worst thing in the world. So news on this just seems to be largely um, speculation being washed out, uh, liquidation of leverage on the exchanges, people getting a bit too excited about the Ethereum merge, I think, and sort of going long on all of crypto. Uh, so there's not too much news really uh, going on. There's sort of articles coming out as to why we haven't bottomed and all that, and they're doing a lot of technical analysis on uh, difficulty and that sort of thing i wouldn't really sort of take too much notice of that technical analysis just on sort of price patterns again not too much notice but the fed i think is one to pay attention to so at the moment um people had been sort of anticipating that uh, we would start cutting or the us would start cutting rates uh, in March 2023 so thinking that we've sort of peaked in inflation and yeah they would sort of start cutting rates again early next year where actually the Fed dot plot as they call it so where all of the committee members see the rates being sort of at the end of the year they're still saying another good sort of percent or so rise for this year and then higher for all of next year. So that's sort of fairly important. Um, so you're looking at sort of three and a half to four percent possibly for next year, which wouldn't be particularly uh, positive for crypto. Crypto would really want uh, the sort of money printing and rate cutting environment. And so would stocks, really. So this is part of the reason I think uh, stocks have got further to fall. But... Yeah, that's uh, that's a little bit bearish. Um, on the on Solana in particular, though, um, Sam Bankman Fried saying he thinks it's an underrated token. He does have a vested interest. He sort of invested in Solana, and sort of is working with uh, Serum, I believe, the um, sort of decentralized exchange, but. Yeah, he's saying uh, sort of the problems that they've been going through is sort of part of uh, part of development. Basically, sort of push user adoption and development as quickly as possible uh, without sort of working out the kinks first. Uh, essentially, the uh, polar opposite to Cardano, who sort of try and perfect everything before they release anything. So yeah basically saying uh, he thinks it's worked through two thirds of their issues and they'll get through the other third in the near future. Interesting. Um, and a bit of a home truth for uh, other blockchains. Any blockchain would have broken if it's tried to do what Solana has done. This was a way to figure out what needed to be refined and what needed to be improved. So if any of uh, other blockchains sort of actually had the transactions that uh, Solana has been doing then they probably would have broken as well so it's very easy for it's a bit like when you had the uh, Bitcoin forks and they were sort of saying our network isn't clogged our network's faster and that sort of thing but they had you know a tenth of the volume uh, 50th of the volume some of them so yeah it's a uh, bit of a home truth I think um, and there's a uh, interesting report from uh, Misari. They sort of do reports on individual coins. And the Q2 report, uh, admittedly a few weeks ago, I uh, didn't really see, spot this at the time, but the Solana sort of Q2 report. Um, interesting that you sort of start and getting things like this, almost like stocks now, earnings. So there's a few sort of uh, decent metrics. If you come, uh, you can read the whole thing if you like, but uh if you come down to the bottom, there's some uh, tables and stats. I always love my stats. So, yeah, you're seeing uh, sort of new NFTs rocketing up, which is pretty good. Daily transactions sort of has dropped off in the last quarter for sort of non-voting. So just pure use 
um, transactions has dropped off a little bit. Voting transactions is still sort of fairly high, but uh, that's sort of part of development, really, rather than using it for like NFTs and sort of mainstream adoption usage. Transactions per second, I thought, was pretty good. Uh, sort of 880 in Q3, up to sort of 2,000, uh, hovering around 2,000, dropped down slightly, 2,135, but it's one of the highest, um, certainly a hell of a lot higher than Ethereum, and obviously miles higher than Bitcoin, but it's not really a competitor to that, but it's higher than a lot of uh, sort of layer one protocols. The ecosystem and development, I thought, looked pretty good. So they're sort of normally quite high in the uh, GitHub um, developer activity. So that's pretty good. Sort of 20,000 uh, commits, I believe this is, in the quarter um, in Q3 21. Sort of rising up to 41,500 in Q1 this year. And then sort of dropping back to just under 32,000. Uh, so still pretty good. And unique programs used up from sort of 11,000 to 90,000 this quarter. So very good. Decentralization improving all the time up from 906 validators to 1,975. So that's pretty good. Obviously, one of the sort of big um, criticisms of Solana is the centralization, the fact the uh, Sort of founders have been able to shut it off for um, a fair amount of time, quite a few times. So yeah, that should uh, that should please people. And then this final one, I thought just interesting to compare it to Ethereum. Basically, I mean they do compare it to the other layer ones, but I think Solana has got eyes for Ethereum essentially. So uh, the figures have widened. Since this, um, Ethereum is, I believe, about 16 times the market cap now of Solana. So some of these uh, figures do look quite promising. Obviously, the uh, average transaction fee is uh, a tiny, tiny fraction of Ethereum's, which is sort of the main reason, I think, for a lot of the use. Uh, it's possible to sort of mint and buy uh, very, very cheap NFTs for sort of new people to get involved you don't want to be paying sort of, what is it, $12 uh, average transaction fee just for a sort of cheap little NFT project. Um, and yeah, NFT unique buyers, 1.2 million versus 1.6 million on Ethereum. So as I say, 16 times the market cap and sort of only a third more uh, NFT unique buyers is uh, pretty good. And developer activity, as I say, is uh, is more on Solana, 350 per day versus 271. Obviously, depends on what they are. Anybody can, I guess, just commit something to uh, GitHub and call it a commit. But yeah, good numbers anyway. So going back to the coins themselves, uh, Bitcoin down 11.7%, not particularly good for the week. Uh, Ethereum down more, but that had obviously been rising a hell of a lot uh, for the merge. Um, so 18% down, Cardano 19%, uh, Solana 23%. So I'm sort of hoping for maybe another drop down to uh, 25 and then I'll be looking to sort of put maybe a £1,000 in. Give me sort of 40 Solana would be nice. Um, Chainlink. Down to six pound twenty one, nearly twenty two percent down. Again, would like to be sort of adding to that. It's below my average now. Uh, Kronos, one that I'm still sort of waiting to sell off later on once my uh, staking periods have expired. Seventeen and a half percent down. Uh, XRP, not quite as bad. Eight point eight percent down. Power Ledger, seventeen. Uh, Internet computer is one of the ones that I bought uh, last week, 20% down, so a little bit of FOMO as I say, and uh, it's come down, but average is, was like £17 and I think is now £15, so buying here isn't sort of, even buying at £6 odd isn't the worst thing. 
Um, basic attention token, 20%. And Audius, 22 Again, sort of, my average was 92 pence, I think. I was buying at sort of £2 at one point. And sort of, it's brought that down to 75 pence, I believe. So, yeah, not, uh, not too bad. So, yeah, a rough week. But uh, we move on and sort of see, keep cash on the side and uh, maybe wait for a little bit more of a drop and put some more in, hopefully for the final time, maybe. So, yeah, leave your, leave your thoughts in the comments below. How are you guys doing this week? And like and subscribe. See you soon. I don't think comparing market cap really is uh, too important over time. That sort of moves with the market.